As a freelance videographer living alone in New York City, this winter was a doozy. I've lived in Brooklyn for about nine years, and even though I have the cutest community of friends here, seasonal depression always comes for me. I have exactly one week to get my together before the first day of spring. <laughs> seasonal depression is no longer an excuse. The past couple months, I haven't wanted to go outside like at all. My apartment has been a complete mess. I've found it really difficult to focus and be productive, and my sleep has just been totally out of whack. Look at this. I slept less than three hours last night. Things have got to change. So I'm gonna commit the next seven days to doing everything I can think of to get my life back together so that I feel like I'm in a better place before this new season starts. Daylight savings was two days ago. Today, for the first time this year, the sun is going to set at 7 p.m. <laughs> I'm so excited. Join me this week as I commit to going on a walk first thing every morning before looking at a screen in an attempt to correct my circadian rhythm. I'm a normal, flawed human being. The first thing I do when I wake up is roll over and grab my phone. <laughs> and then I accidentally see things happening all over the world, experience the entire range of human emotions within the span of like 10 or 20 minutes, feel completely overwhelmed, and just want to go back to bed. So I feel like this one thing alone could just totally heal my brain. Next, I'm going to try to see my friend as much as possible because I've been spending way too much time at home alone. I was a bit of a hermit this winter, so I need to make sure they still like me. Lastly, I want to have some sort of accomplishment every day. When I have a big project I'm working on, it can be hard to see the progress, which makes it hard to stay motivated. And as Tony Robbins says, If you ask me, what does it take to be happy? Give it you one word, progress. Progress equals happiness. We gotta grow, we gotta make progress. So the goal is to have a small win every day, whether that's running an errand or completing a portion of a video, as long as there's clear progress. I've just driven out to Whole Foods to do some grocery shopping. I needed to move my car for street cleaning anyway, and my fridge is totally empty. I got a text message on my way here that has made me feel just so sick to my stomach from my management. They texted to say that my lease expired last year and I never renewed it, and that if I don't address this immediately, they're gonna start eviction proceedings. I definitely signed my lease last year. I expected to hear from them soon about this next year's lease but now they're threatening eviction. They've made mistakes like this in the past. Even though I'm pretty sure I can get this fixed and that I'm not going to be evicted, the tiniest possibility of that. In a city where apartments are extremely difficult to find, it just, it makes me feel so uneasy. Like if anything happened with my apartment, I would honestly probably have to leave New York. Everything is just really weird right now. Talk about getting my life back together. This is the biggest part of my life, my home. I'm trying to remind myself that it's going to be fine. They're not going to evict me. They're not going to evict me. <sighs> Do you want to hear one of the most New York problems ever? <laughs> it's really difficult to find a parking spot right now because every other block is planning to film either an episode of a TV show or a movie all of a sudden. Probably because the weather's starting to get nice again. They get permits for the street so that no one can park there for like a whole day or two days or whatever. So I'm just sitting here driving around like this film set. <laughs> Which is funny because I love films and I love filmmaking. I just, it's frustrating sometimes. Baby, are you stuck? Greta just went up above the cabinets and now she's scared to jump down. You can jump up, but you can't jump down. <laughs> That's what you get. I honestly have no idea what I got from the grocery store. I was in such a panic in my mind that I just wanted to get out of there as quickly as possible so I could get home and address the lease issue. But I just got another text saying like, oh, we don't have record of that, please just forward it to threaten eviction and then just be like, oh, just kidding, what? <sighs> so I'm gonna see what I have. First of all, I got my mail. <laughs> this is an absurd amount of junk. Cleaner, dish soap, almonds, little baby quiches, snack, blueberries, garlic stuffed olives, vegan cheese, this is the best, vegan sausages, and a whole bunch of eggs. I actually got two of these, that's it. Do you wanna hear something very, very depressing? All of that cost me $82.93. There isn't even like a real meal here. I basically just got snacks. Okay. <laughs> I'm scared. 
Opening up mail gives me anxiety because it's never good. The only things that come by mail nowadays, either junk or something scary. <laughs> okay, so I got a couple of tax forms, healthcare, vehicle registration, a parking ticket. I have to do my taxes too. I am not doing my taxes this week. That'll be for next week. I need to, I need to just get to baseline before I really just lose my mind. <laughs> I'm gonna look at this really quickly and try and distract myself before addressing these issues. <laughs> Looking at this magazine has not made me feel any better. It's like my hands are trembling and I ripped a page. Okay. Uh, Wait, what do you mean? Which is I'd be freaking out. Exactly. Holy <laughs> That is so insane. I'm so sorry. This is one of my best friends telling me he'd just been laid off. He's been working in tech for the same company for the past four years. I know way too many people who've been laid off recently, but this one was particularly unexpected. <laughs> this is day one of me like attempting to get my life back together and it's just been like not a good day so far. It can only really go up from here, right? He was supposed to be promoted and it just makes me feel even more uneasy about the economy because weddings are down by a lot this year and I've just been quietly panicking, getting ready to apply to a bunch of places while simultaneously hearing these horror stories. The photographers at the last wedding I shot were telling me that they have friends who've applied to like 300 jobs. That is just really, really, really unsettling news and really, really sad. I feel really awful for him. Damn it. later. I went on a walk with my friend. We walked for kind of a while and then he had to go back and answer some emails. I had to come answer more leasing emails. The conclusion was that it was just one giant mistake on their part. Thank god. <laughs> They're sending over the renewal lease. I came back and just felt so tired because I only slept three hours. I was considering if I should just stay awake, you know, like when you try and beat jet lag. I just couldn't do it. Three hours is too little. Took a nap for 90 minutes. The sun is gonna set. I think I'm gonna try and walk all the way out to the waterfront, which I haven't done in a really long time. I feel like I need to look at water. <laughs> for some reason, looking at water always makes me feel better. We've been having these crazy windstorms. I feel like we had two last week, but we had one just yesterday. My building was just shaking for hours. I actually got a video of it. I have this irrational fear that, is it irrational? Probably. I have an irrational fear that my building is just going to fall down one day because it's so old. <laughs> wow, what an incredibly anxiety-filled day that I did not see coming. I think I wanted to like go lay in grass somewhere. That's what my mom always tells me I should do. Every time I call my mom and I'm anxious, she's like, Stephanie, Go sit under a tree. <laughs> it couldn't hurt to try. <laughs>
It's 10 a.m. I just woke up to the sound of um, a fire truck going by and a nearby dog howling at the fire truck. <coughs> It was kind of a cute way to wake up. I'm really curious how long I slept. I'm obviously making up for not really sleeping yesterday. I have not looked at my phone yet, and I'm gonna go do my little walk. All right, I'm not gonna lie. The weather is even nicer today, but I really don't wanna be outside right now. <laughs> I just feel groggy. I wanna drink caffeine really badly. And because I was so groggy when I left, I forgot to put socks on. <laughs> I didn't drink any water. I'm super thirsty. There's something else I forgot, but I can't even remember what I forgot. <laughs> I broke my French press. <laughs> this used to be one of my favorite objects. So this is kind of devastating. Luckily I figured out I can just as easily use a mason jar with this little strainer on top. And it's actually way easier to clean. I've found little bits of mold in the top of that French press multiple times, which kind of grosses me out. I don't think I've ever broken a mason jar before and I've been using them since I was a child. so much so i'm feeling a lot better today <laughs> i just want to clarify really quickly the reason why i was so upset about the lease yesterday i just have this irrational fear that my landlord wants to kick me out because i pay so little in rent <laughs> Rents have skyrocketed like crazy in New York City ever since like 2021. Every single comparable one bedroom apartment in my neighborhood is going for almost double what I pay. That fear really doesn't make any sense because of one thing in particular, which I wish I had thought about yesterday. I have neighbors of mine who have lived in this building for 30 and 40 years. So the idea that they would want to kick me out, it's just extremely unlikely. I'm pretty sure New York city laws do a really good job of protecting tenants in unfair cases like that anyway but a large part of the reason why i feel better today they sent me a renewal lease i'm officially switching into a more positive mindset no more negativity allowed <laughs> I just have to remember how lucky I am. I live in this amazing city that I love. I have a roof over my head. I have food in my fridge. All of my loved ones are healthy. I just have to believe that everything is going to work out and I'll be able to pay rent this next year. So I've been writing and editing video all day. It is an extremely beautiful day right now and I've just been inside on my computer this whole time. So I wanna get outside quickly, but first I wanna go around and clean up my apartment. That is going to be my accomplishment for the day and it needs to be done. I also really need to paint my nails because this is not okay. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> I can't believe I've just been walking around New York City looking like this. Last night when I was out with my friend, I was just embarrassed to like <laughs> pick things up. I feel like this has been indicative of my brain state. And then I'm going into Manhattan. My friend Celeste invited me over to watch the final episode of Love is Blind, which I'm so excited about. If you've watched this season, please let me know because it has just been so chaotic. Like it's really given us a lot. It has provided. <laughs> I can really use that escapism right now. I'm still trying to decide if I want to take the train or maybe walk. It would be kind of insane to walk over two hours of walking. I know I can definitely walk that far. I'm a Camino girly, but I don't know if I'll have time. As 
as always, cleaning is taking way longer than I thought it would. Once I start doing something, I just want to do it as deeply as possible. Only one hour of sunlight left. I'm really, really craving going outside. I'm going to head out, walk as far as I can, because two hours might be too much at this point, but it'll be fun because it's gorgeous out right now. <laughs> what do I need? Oh, I have to paint my nails. Okay, let me do that real quick. <laughs> Done. Pretty messy job. All right, I've made it to the Williamsburg Bridge and part of me is like, oh, I can just get on the train right here instead of walking the whole way because I've already been walking for a while, but I'm not a quitter. <gasps> subway surfing. If you don't know what that is, it's when kids ride on top of the train as it's moving. Maybe I'm getting old, but like, it's just so dangerous. I thought I was about to see someone plummet to their death. I mean, I did risky things when I was younger, but like, this is just insane. This walk has been extremely beautiful. Totally worth it. just asked if I could pick up a baguette so I think I'm gonna try Trader Joe's because there's at least one on the way although Trader Joe's might be a very scary place at this hour
so I didn't get back from Manhattan last night until 12.30, almost 1. And for some reason, I couldn't go to sleep for a while. But I still ended up waking up at sunrise and going on my sunrise walk, which I totally didn't expect. And it was much easier today. I actually enjoyed it. I remembered to wear socks. I drank water. I also remembered my sunglasses, which is what I forgot. I forgot yesterday. I had only slept a little over four hours, and so I napped for an hour and a half. And I'm still feeling tired. Like, I can tell that my body is still like, what are we doing? Like, we're waking up at sunrise now. What is going on? My friend Stephanie asked me yesterday if I would like to do a polar plunge at Coney Island today. And I said yes yesterday. Now, I just really don't want to. <laughs> and I know I don't want to because it just sounds exhausting and I'm already exhausted. Getting there and back is at least two hours. And then, you know, getting in freezing cold water. I think it's like 45 degrees right now. Like that just doesn't sound very nice. Yeah, Stephanie texted me this morning saying that she made a picnic for us. She's really excited. So I need to get a little caffeinated in order to feel that excitement. Also, I don't know if you can hear it, but there's so much construction going on. I'm looking at just a bunch of men right here. But yeah, it's a lot of drilling noises there, also on the other side of the street, and then earlier it was in my building. Yeah, I think it'll be good for me to get out of this noise for a little bit and go look at the ocean. My instinct is to guilt myself because I didn't finish cleaning my apartment yesterday. I didn't edit as much video as I was hoping to have done by now. This is just kind of what I've been doing all winter, shaming myself and then not allowing myself to go do something like this, which has resulted in me just being home alone and getting quite sad and therefore not being as productive as I should. So I think in the end, this is genuinely something I need. Actually, now that I'm sitting here by this window, I do want to leave. They're all wearing hazmat suits too. I wonder what they're doing. Look at how messy my apartment is. <sighs> Ready to go. Hoping this ocean water will heal me. <laughs> I would meditate all the time. <laughs> On our way to Coney. Trying to cleanse ourselves. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> we need to be baptized. Should have brought some sage. Well, the water will do what we need. Yeah. Jesus was baptized in the river. <laughs> I ain't got nothing on Coney Island. <laughs> this is pure. <laughs> Should have worn all white. Uh -huh, just in case. Oh, that's so cute. Of course, you brought two hats. <laughs> actually went under. I'm so proud. Yeah, I, so I wimped out. Wow, we're right by the Wonder Wheel. <laughs> <laughs> we got our Coney Island it's girl. <laughs> There's a man passed out right behind us with a vodka bottle. We did not notice. We're just here being happy little girls. <laughs> taking a cold plunge here at beautiful Coney Island. We could have hopped the East River Ferry. It's actually not called the East River Ferry from here. It's just the ferry. I don't know what line it is, <laughs> but it is an option. There's just a, a general better mood. Seasonal depression for me this year was very real. I also haven't really experienced a winter last winter or the winter prior because I'd been traveling. This winter was particularly hard for me. It, it was difficult. It was slow with work. So bye-bye winter depression. Here we are. <laughs> 
spring. It's not even spring yet. It is still winter depression, but I feel pretty great. My body still feels kind of cold. We did it twice, so I'm proud of us. 42 degrees, baby. We did it. Give us a 90s Delia's pose. Delia! <laughs> <laughs> so cute. We got like disco. Uh, wow, those views. Oh, wow. Something. All this view is great. Uh, yeah. But more bell bottom. <gasps> we have to start roller skating. <laughs> Maybe we could roller skate. That way it looks like we're just gliding. Wow, we have to practice that. <laughs> to be good, to be good. Hell yeah, we need to chill. <laughs> <laughs> There were these French doors, really pretty French doors Aww. actually, that connected the dining room to the living room. Yeah, the, the armory in like Park Slope area. Oh. It's a YMCA now. That's <laughs> so funny. At least, At least it's, it's being used. Yeah. I wonder what this is now. Yeah, like what is this? We should do a story on this place. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Also, Ready? Steph scribbles. <laughs> Like, I know the shelves are 60 inches. Oh, yeah, it's 55. Do you hear the bees? There's so many bees. I see like 50 bees right now. It was gloomy and gross when I woke up this morning, but I went out on a walk. I met up with a friend and I ended up being out for like an hour and a half just walking around because the sun came out and the weather is just so nice. You know, it's only been a few days of these new habits. I feel like I've come alive again. I don't know if it's the weather or the walking or spending time with friends. Maybe it's all of the things, but I really do feel happier right now. To admit something that I'm a little embarrassed about, I'm not proud of. I wasn't even sure if I should keep this video going because I was like, wow, I have completely derailed myself. I had a great morning Friday and even felt kind of happy. And then I learned about just awful news. I found out yesterday about a shooting that happened on Thursday while Stephanie and I were at the beach. There was a shooting on a subway train not far from where one of my best friends lives in the middle of the day on a weekday when the train were pretty full. I saw a video of a major part of the confrontation and I just felt like I could feel the fear of the people on that train. Having something happen like that so close to home is scary. It's hard to ignore and I also think because I don't have to really ride the train much anymore, I've developed more of a fear of it which I'm a little embarrassed about. I used to ride the subway home from Manhattan at like three o'clock in the morning after work by myself all the time. I've lived in New York for almost 10 years and there's always been crime here, but it hasn't prevented me from wanting to live here because I know that these things happen everywhere. But with 8 million people in such a small area, it feels like more than it actually is. So the truth is that per capita, New York is actually a pretty safe place. I feel safe, but when I have like thousands of comments telling me that it's not safe, it made me wonder like, am I, 
like, am I just lucky that I haven't felt unsafe? Like, I don't know. After seeing that video, hearing about a lot of other incidents that have happened in the city recently, I just kind of went down into this dark hole of terrible news. Yeah, it kind of derailed my whole day yesterday because I had a lot of plans to clean my apartment, to get a lot of editing done, and then to go to this like really cute free salsa dancing class with Stephanie in her neighborhood. The next thing you know, I just like am not in the mood. I stayed home yesterday, which was Friday night, and by the time I talked myself out of this hole at like 9 p.m., I felt guilty that I didn't get enough work done, and so I spent the whole rest of the night editing video until about 3 in the morning, which completely ruined my sleep because I woke up early this morning again to go on my little walk, which I'm actually so proud of because it's the one thing that I've stuck with this whole week, even if it hasn't had an impact on everything else yet, like on those walks. I feel really happy. But after coming home and doing little tasks around the apartment, I got tired and ended up taking a four hour nap. <laughs> yeah, man, it's just hard to get your sleep back on track. It really is. My procrastination is always worse at night because I'm like, oh, how much can I get done before going to sleep? Or like, I don't deserve to go to sleep yet because I didn't get enough stuff done. And then, you know, I'm up attempting to accomplish things at three o'clock in the morning on a Friday when I haven't had a drop of alcohol. And today is Saturday. Today was the St. Patrick's Day Parade in Manhattan. I have never been to that. I personally don't love crowds of drunk people. Uh, but I am wearing green and I live in green. I have the green in my heart. I feel like I tend to do a lot of my socializing during the week when other people are busy doing regular people things and then when regular people are out on weekends that's when I like to be more productive at home. I think this is something that was kind of like trained into me like way back when I moved to the city. My boyfriend and I were working in restaurants and we would work from like 3 p.m. until midnight. We learned that the best hours to be a person in the city is during the hours when everyone else is working their regular jobs. It made it very enticing to continue not having a regular job on weekdays when everything is just calm and chill and peaceful. I really love that. So yeah, I think this is why I've loved freelance work so much all these years. I'm very grateful for it. I get to just stay home on a Saturday and not feel guilty like I'm like wasting my weekend. Because yeah, I'm usually working on Saturdays and so it feels like the biggest work day for me. I'm gonna go for a walk real quick because the sun's about to set and then I'm gonna come home and see if I can clean my apartment, water my plants, I really need to do that. And I've been getting a lot of video editing done but there hasn't been like one definitive thing that I've finished and so I would like to finish a portion of something to feel like wow I did that, you know, instead of just like oh yeah I've been kind of working on all that but it's hard to see what it is, do you know what I mean? I just broke my all-time favorite dish I've ever owned. I got this at, oh, I'm dropping water on my phone, <laughs> thrift store in Florida, and I dropped another bowl on top of this. I mean, it's still usable, of course, but that is really sad. I'm gonna see if I can find the piece and maybe glue it back on or something, I don't know. I found this little piece. It's not the whole piece. Oh God, what if I break it? But there's just that little bit still missing. There's a bunch of like gross cat food and scraps in the drain that I might need to dig through to find this last little bit. Could put it back together, which I think would be worth it because of how much I love this thing.
just been in a weird mental place, a little bit scatterbrained. Quentin, one of my Camino besties, he was asking me advice about the Portuguese about a month ago. He's in Porto right now about to start the Portuguese Camino with his mom. I am so happy for him. Look at Quentin and his mom. They're so cute. I'm so happy for them. I woke up at 10 a.m. because they went to bed at 3 a.m. again. It's safe to say that this week has done nothing for my circadian rhythm, but the one thing that I am proud of, I've woken up and gone on a walk before even looking at my phone for a second. I didn't check emails, I didn't look at text messages, I didn't open Instagram, even check the weather or my sleep, nothing. I just got dressed and went outside. It feels like that's been having an impact. It's a little hard to say because this has been a weird week. I guess only time will tell. last night woke up at 10 again i also think it's because i spent almost the entire winter being completely inactive there was a period of time where i was running and then i got covid and just gotten knocked out for a couple weeks i totally lost every good habit i had yeah i was sick a couple times this winter and that that definitely threw things off and then i was just like kind of leaned into the the winter laziness yeah this is really the first week that my body has been pretty active every single day and i think that might be why i'm so tired I did go on my walk this morning. I don't think I recorded any footage of it, but I did do it before I looked at my phone. And I've just been editing all day and procrastinating doing laundry because I really need to do laundry. Doing like multiple loads of laundry at the laundromat is truly just the absolute bane of my existence. I hate everything about it. <laughs> Every single thing about it. Ugh. And because I procrastinate doing it, it ends up being like just like huge loads. And so it's like almost impossible to carry by myself. So yeah, do I want to do that today? I think I should do that today. Cause the whole idea of this like past week was to feel like I got some together before the spring equinox, which is tomorrow. Today's the last day of winter. <laughs> Another thing, my leak was fixed, so it had previously been raining from a hole right there, which has been sealed. But the new problem, I don't know if you can see the streak kind of coming down all the way to the ground. Now it's leaking from there. Whatever this is, is some like brown slime. And you can also tell that there's water damage like all along that crack beneath the light, which is scary. I just put in a maintenance request. Hopefully they can actually fix this because this has been going on for like eight months now. And I'm beginning to wonder if I need to worry about mold. If anyone out there knows about this, do I need to be worried about mold? I've almost talked myself out of this so many times, but I just at least have to get one load of laundry done. This is gonna be a little ridiculous, but I know I'm gonna feel better once it's done, so I'm just gonna, I just gotta do it. <laughs> My backpack. Make sure I have everything before I put this on because it's gonna hurt. <laughs> to pick up my laundry and drive it home. It's gonna be even heavier now because some of it is wet. Some of it I'm gonna hang dry at home and I need to move the van anyway. You guessed it. <laughs> 
a film shoot an episode of Law & Order, which I think is funny. I have to hurry and get back there. It's a little bit cutthroat at laundromats in New York City. I don't know if you ever saw that episode of Friends. Coming through, move, move! <laughs> Excuse me, I was kind of using that machine. Yeah, well, now you're kind of not. <laughs> If you're one minute late to getting your stuff out of the machine after the cycle has ended, someone will be there to remove your things for you and like push them off to the side so that they can use the machine. It just is what it is, I guess. I gotta make sure I get back before someone tries to take my dryer. Come on, this is my car. This is my car. You have to take it with a second time. You're gonna have to take me with it. spring everybody finally <laughs> this week didn't go quite as planned there were a couple bumps in the road but those long walks and time with friends made all the difference even though i didn't fix my sleep schedule i still feel proud of the progress i made i walked way over 10,000 steps every day got a lot of work and errands done and surprisingly got an average of seven hours of sleep a night which is much better than the couple weeks prior i'm really excited for this new season of life i hope things are going well for you wherever you are and thanks so much for watching. See you soon.